Good afternoon everybody. We are now back from our travels and we got soaking wet through. And I mean soaking. The heavens actually opened um, when we was in Bolton. We first of all went to Hobbycraft. The Hobbycraft in Bolton is so much nicer than the one in Stockport. I'm sorry if anybody's watching and Stockport is there. Hobbycraft, but the Bolton one is much nicer. Um, it's got a lot more stock, a lot more to see, a lot more to temperature for sure. Um, so Tim took me there first and then we went to, and you'll have seen some footage. Um, I did buy some things and I will show you. And then we went across the town to Abakan and that is, um, if for anybody who doesn't know, that's like a another little crafting shop but it's mainly for fabrics and laces and trims and that's what I originally wanted to go for I needed um some laces and trims for journaling but did they have any no they didn't have anything that I had in mind you know when you picture something in your mind that you want and you want to do it in your journal well they, they didn't have anything that, you, that that I wanted but of course I bought stuff um, so first of all, I'll show you what I bought from Hobbycraft. I actually didn't buy that much to be fair. Even Tim said to me, I'm really shocked that you didn't buy anything else. But I am trying to desperately not spend money and buy things that I don't need. A, because I'm struggling for the room. And B, I am going to a very, on a very special weekend away in September and I am desperately trying to save money for that um and so yeah I'm just saving up and I don't want to spend it on things that I don't really need but having said that when I show you what what I bought I don't really need these but I have to have them so you would have seen in Obbycraft that they've got quite a lot of Christmas um it's mainly fabrics and ribbons and things to make um or oh, what they call the wreaths for on your doors and and things like that that's mainly the things that they've got out at the moment i was having a look for some paper crafting in christmas you know like um scrapbooks and such like and they haven't got any of that yet so what i did buy for christmas i bought three velour can you see them ribbons and they are they like velvet are they not absolutely beautifully Christmas, beautiful Christmas colours? So, um, one of these, or some, maybe a, 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 all three of them, I don't know. I'm going to put some of these in my Christmas journal. Um, I didn't do any knitting or crocheting hardly yesterday. I can't remember, did I do any? Oh, yes, I did. I did a little bit of crocheting on a cardigan that I'm making, and that's it. And then last night I went upstairs and I sat in my craft room for a couple of hours and did a real good session on my journal, which I will show you later on my um, Christmas journal. So I got them from Hobbycraft and it was buy two, get one free, which I was really pleased about because I liked all three colours. So yeah, if you bought two, you got one free. And then I had to get these. I could not resist these. I'd shown you on film the uh, velour pumpkins or the felt pumpkins look at the size of that one is that not just adorable so I got an orange one and a white one because I do quite like decorating for Halloween um, and I want to do it big this year because it's my birthday in October and I am 60 and so I'd really like the house to be decorated throughout October so yeah I'm starting collecting for things like that now so I got two of these cute little pumpkins from Hobbycraft and then do you remember yesterday I showed to you a book that I'd found from a while ago um using a yarn called Sirdar Snowflake. Well, I could only find today Snowflake Chunker and that's not what the pattern calls for. It calls for a DK. So I managed to get the Sirdar Snuggler. Oh, oh no, it's Sirdar Snowflake. This is Sirdar Snuggler and it's exactly the same make. It's that really, really, oh, it's beautifully soft. 
I've used this before, I think, and I can't remember what I used it for. I wasn't sure if I used this for. Did they call them lovies? I'd crocheted a granny square and then made a bunny head for the top and it's so the child can love it and cuddle it. I'm sure they're called lovies. So I bought a 50 gram ball of that to make a little, um, it's a teddy bear, isn't it? So I bought that. So that was from, that was from Hobbycraft too. And then we went round to Abacan. And I took this with me, I'm sure, oh, let me take it out of the bag, sorry if this any, sorry about the blinding you there with the light, I'm not sat in a really good place, am I? I took this metre of fabric that I bought last time we was out because I'd got no lining for this whatsoever to make some bags. So we went round to Abacan and I got this one to go with it, which I thought was quite nice. So I'm going to make some out of this with that lining. And then I got this one to go with it. So I'm going to make some out of that. I think I'll be able to get four bags out of this. Two of the pink and then two of the... So I quite liked that. I thought that was a really good contrast because really good... I mean, that that pink one is perfect. The, the lemon one is just a little bit brighter, but not much. So we got, um, I got um, a meter each of those. And then I couldn't resist this. I always wanted to get this Tilda fabric and I never did. It wasn't actually the color that I would have preferred, but the one that I really liked, they only had um, half a meter left. And I thought, well, there's no point in having half a meter. Um, can't make many things out of that. Um, I'd quite like to make bags out of this, but it's quite a big print, so they might have to be quite big bags, but it's this one. This was out last year, um, and it's with the, I don't know, are them, what kind of ladies are them? I don't know. Posh. Posh ladies. Isn't it lovely, that? So I've got a metre of that, which I love. And then I absolutely love this. This is a Kath Kidston fabric. And I've had this before and made bags with this before. And it's got the beautiful bird on it. In fact, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think I fussy, fussy cut one of the birds out and did it in one of my journals. So that was um, another piece of fabric I got. So yeah, I got four pieces of fabric or four metres of fabric and all my ribbons and my wool and my um, pumpkin goodies. And then, oh, I think these was from Hobbycraft as well. It was Tim that spotted these. Look at these glass jars. He come, he come looking for me and he said to me, how nice are these glass jars to put on the table for the children? I mean, when the kids come and they have Sunday lunch with us, obviously they all don't drink wine and we usually have um, an apple tizer for them or we put Vimto in and he said, how nice would that be on the table with water or Vimto or... So we bought one of these as well. Really, really reasonable. I think it were, I can't remember if it was two or three pounds, something like that. So yeah, we got one of them and I thought that'd be nice with blousing as well. Anyway, so yeah, that was my haul for today. Um, I am going now to, what am I going to do? I'm going now to take photographs of the bags that I am putting in my shop. I'm hoping to get them in this evening. So I'm going to take some photographs and then I will, after this, I will then put more footage in for you of Abacan. Um... It's not the most picturesque place to record any um, videos for you. Um, it's, not, it's not laid out in such a way that it, it does justice on camera. It is one of those shops, Abacan, where it's a bit of a rummaging shop. They usually sell fabrics by the weight. Um, and you'll see what I mean. They have an exceptionally good couple of aisles of yarns. Um, and then other than that, it's just trimmings and stuff. Anyway, I'm waffling on now and I need to get on because I need to put these bags in the shop and get some pictures taken. I shall be back later on. Um, so until then, carry on watching and seeing what it's like inside Abacan. All right then, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>
this is the mess that I left last night when I went downstairs. Look at it everywhere. My sewing machine is out because I managed to sew all around my papers um, and make some more. This is another journaling spot. And I have constructed my cover. So that's the front. I have sewn all the way around in black thread. That's the front. That's the back. And I have attached some silk ribbon for the ties. And then it's not finished by any means and it's not my signature. It's just going to be a one signature journal is not obviously inserted yet. This is the inside cover and I did more fancy in um, stitches all the way around. And then there is 48 pages front and back. Um, some of them are picturesque like this. Is that the right word? I don't know, but some of them are pretty and printed on. Um, so that's a journaling spot and you can journal there. That's going to be a tuck spot. So I'm going to sew that down. Um, another nice one. I'm going to perhaps on these ones that's got nice pictures on, I'm probably going to get some of these um, journaling cards and maybe um, do a flip out like that so you can journal on your space there but keep it private and put it back there so you can still see the picture but there's a bit of journal in space. Um, I suppose you could journal on that really couldn't you? Um, then there's some graph paper, this is tea stained, another one of the um, pages out of the, the kit. Um, what's that there? Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed and I'm not doing a good job of it, am I? Um, that's a graph paper. That is the back of another one of the prints out of the kit. This is an old ledger page. Um, and then it's tea stained on the back so you could journal there. Another one out of the kit. Oh, I'm not doing such a good job of this, am I? Hold on one second. Or a piece of music paper. And again, I can make that, I can do a nice collage on there or I can um, do a flip out or a floating page. There's all sorts I can do. And then that's again out of the kit. Then there's another um, ledger page. And again, I think that's blank on the back. Yeah, but tea stains so you can do some journal in there. This is the center st center page, I think. And because I love this so much, I thought I'd have to put that in the center. So I did it on the front, on the inside, and on the back. So, you know, I can do all sorts with that. And then it's just on this side is the other side of all the ones that I've shown you. So there's the music paper, so forth and so on. I will give you a proper flip through once I've actually attached it to the to the cover. I need to, before I do that, I need to do all the sewing and the gluing and things like that. But yeah, so last night I came up here for a few hours and that's what I did. I felt like I needed a break. Um, and I think, I'm not sure yet, but I think I'm going to put this, let me just see, just a small amount on the spine, just there like that. Anyway, so that's how far I've got with that. So I thought I'd share that with you. But I do think before I go any further, I need to have a bit of a tidy up. Have you ever seen anything like that? What a state. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going now to put these bags in my shop as I have just finished taking all the pictures. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. Um, it is now 10 to 7, so I've just got out the shower. I've just had a because we, when we got wet today, I don't know about you, but when I get wet, it always makes me feel grubby. So I had to have a shower. So I've just got out of the shower, washed my hair and done that, put some fresh clothes on. Um, I am having a little zoom catch up with some friends tonight so I want to get this uploaded and sorted before I go on because sometimes when you get on these zoom meetings you can be there for half an hour an hour or three hours 
Um, but after the Zoom meeting tonight, I think what I'm going to do is come back in. Oh, well, I'll probably stay in my craft room because this is where I normally have my meeting, you know, my chit chats. Um, I will probably come back in the craft room and do a little bit more of paper crafting. Um, I want to get this journal finished this month, so I'm going to spend another hour, hour and a half on it tonight after I've finished chatting. Um, because, yeah, I'd really like to get it done and have a journal ready for December. One of my viewers asked me, do I ever use my journals? And the answer is no, never. I've got oh a shelf full of them over here that I've made and I never use them. But I am really going to try and keep a journal throughout December this year. Um, I might make myself a journal for October um, to celebrate the milestone of being 60. I think it's a massive, massive milestone. And, and probably one of the reasons I do, um, I don't want to go into it too much, but um, I lost my mum when she was 58. Um, she had breast cancer and then it went to her brain. And throughout my adult life I have always had it in the back of my mind that I was going to be and uh, like my mum and we're going to die early and that's fine because when your cards are dealt you have to deal with it and get on with it and so it's always been a worry of mine and of course the closer to the big six O I get and then I got cancer <laughs> the more I worried about it so for me to reach 60 like my poor mum never did oh I loved my mum dearly and my dad um it's a special time for me that really, really special. So I think I'm going to make a journal for October and I am going to document my month of October. Um, and I actually think I'm going to vlog in October as well, throughout October. Um, I think that'll be another nice milestone for me to have up on YouTube for my family to watch, you know, in many years to come, hopefully, fingers crossed. Anyway, I don't know where all that come from, but there you go. So I've just come on to say again, thank you very much for watching. I still need to answer lots of comments and I will get round to it, I promise. If I haven't answered your comments yet, please don't think I'm ignoring you. It's just that I have had a lot of them and with us going out and doing things, um, but I will get round to answering them, I promise. So until tomorrow, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Um, happy crafting and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care everybody. Good night. Good night.